this one here it says distance of a point from the line we have this point p here and this is the line here which is in the format of ax plus by plus c equals to 0 now distance of this point p from this line let's take it as l would be pm or we call it d since this is a distance in that case this angle here would be 90 degrees means pm would be perpendicular to this line l we have this direct formula d equals to modulus ax1 plus by1 plus c over under root a square plus b square what we need to study here is how this formula has been derived let's check and see how to derive this okay we have this point p this point q this point r this is my x intercept this is my y intercept this is x intercept in that case x would be negative c over a we know that x is equal to negative c over a and y is equal to negative c over b x is negative c over a comma zero y intercept x is zero y is negative c over b now i'll write here area of triangle p q r will be half into perpendicular or height which is pm into base which is qr or I can write it as 2 area of triangle PQR over QR is equal to PM. This PM or I can call it as D. So D is equal to 2 area of triangle PQR over QR which is the base here. Now what we need to do here is we need to find out area of PQR, area of triangle PQR and we need to find out the length of QR. Then we can find out what is the length of PM or what is the distance of point P from this line QR. Let's find out area of PQR. I'll write here area of triangle PQR will be as per the formula half modulus so that is the area of this triangle pqr or i can write two area of triangle pqr will be equal to this here this two goes this side let's try to work on this okay let's take this as x1 y1 this as x2, y2, and this as x3, y3. x1 stays as it is. y2 is 0. y3 is negative c over b. So negative, negative, positive c over. x2, which is negative c over a. y3, which is negative c over b y1 we do not have values for x1 and y1 then we have x3 x3 is 0 in that case whatever we multiply with 0 will go 0 so i leave it as it is x1 c over b minus minus plus c square ab plus y1 c over a now let's take LCM of B, A, B and A. This will be A, B, Y1, B, C. I can take here C over A, B as common. So this will give me. Let's take this C over A, B away. So this will be C over A, B within the modulus. And this will be X1, A plus y1b plus c within the modulus so my two area of triangle pqr comes to be this i'll write it as 
Now we have to find out QR. QR is this QR, this line here. QR can be root x3 minus x2 whole square y3 minus y2 whole square. So QR would be root x3 minus x2. So 0 minus minus plus c over a whole square plus y3 minus y2 means negative c over b minus 0 whole square. So this would be root c square over a square plus c square over b square. Let's try to solve this. This would be if I take c square as common this would be a square plus b square over a square b square. c square goes out, out of the root becomes c. a square b square goes out of the root becomes a b. This will also be into the modulus because this cannot go negative. We are talking about the length of a line which has always to be positive and this stays in the root which is a square plus b square. So now I have the value of QR which is C over AB in the modulus into under root A square plus B square. Now, as I said in the beginning, PM or D can be two area of triangle PQR over QR. I have two area of PQR which is this here. I have QR which is this here. So this goes bye bye. What we are left with is AX1 plus BY1 plus C over, this is in the modulus, over A square plus B square within the root. This is the answer we had in the beginning. D equals to AX1 plus BY1 plus C within the modulus over A square plus B square within the root. Alright?